So are you also facing the performance issues in your Windows 11? Whether your Windows device is lagging or it's not performing up to the mark, then don't worry because in this video, I'm gonna be telling you the best ways by which you can fix the performance issues in your Windows 11. So without wasting any time, let's start the video. So the first option is to restart your PC and only open the apps that you need. Wow! I know it's very simple but sometimes when the PC runs slowly and freezes then a simple restart could help. So just go to the start and here tap on the power button and choose restart. Also while you're using your PC don't open too many apps and websites at the same time as this will impact in the performance. Second way is to install Windows updates and device drivers. So whenever you face any problem in the performance, you can just choose to install the latest Windows updates. As Microsoft keeps releasing the new updates to improve the user experience, fix some bugs and errors and make sure of the reliable OS. So to check for updates, open the Windows settings by clicking the Windows plus I button. And here under the Windows updates tab, you'll see this option, check for updates. So just click on it and Windows will check if there are any available updates. Then just download the update and install it on your device. Now the third way is to disable unnecessary startup programs. So basically the more programs you install into your PC, the longer time it takes to start up your Windows. So for those apps that you don't use often, it is not necessary for the Windows to run those apps during startup. And that way you can choose to disable them. So just press Ctrl plus Shift plus Escape to open the task manager. And here go to the startup tab. And here find the unnecessary apps that you hardly use and choose one by one. Then once all of the apps are selected, just click the disable button for all of them. Fourth way is to use Readyboost to improve the performance of your Windows. So Readyboost is a feature offered natively by Microsoft and it enables you to use a removable drive like a SD card or USB flash drive to improve the performance. That too without opening the PC and adding more RAM. So now let's see how to do that. So firstly, connect your USB drive to the PC, go to the file explorer, right click on the drive, and here choose properties. Now here go to the ready boost tab and choose use this device. And at the bottom determine how much space is needed to reserve for system speed. And then just click on apply. And doing this will definitely improve your PC performance. All right, up next on the fifth number is to disable unnecessary visual effects. As Windows 11 contain many visual effects such as shadow effects, animations, etc. Which do look great by the way, but these visual effects take up extra system resources, which leads to slowing down of your PC and causing Windows 11 performance issues. So to disable the visual effects, just go to the Windows search page and here type performance. And then just click on adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. And here choose the visual effects tab. And here check the box of adjust for best performance. Then just click on apply and then again click on ok. And that way all of your visual effects will be disabled. Now the sixth way is pretty evident which is to free up your disk space. As low disk space is one of the main culprit for causing Windows 11 performance issues. For example long boot time, slow loading app, slow response etc. So you need to look up the contents of your disk and make sure that you free up your disk space can be deleting your junk files or your temporary files or emptying the recycle bin, uninstalling unnecessary programs, disabling hibernation mode and more. So up next the method is to transfer your Windows 11 to an SSD. So compared to an hard disk drive, an SSD offers your fast reading and writing speeds. And if the Windows 11 is installed on an SSD, then your PC will boot up in just seconds. And all of your major apps can run smoothly without any issues. So migrating Windows 11 to an SSD is a good option when you are dealing with the performance issues. Alright, the next method is to pause OneDrive syncing. So when you are setting up your PC, you can choose to save your PC files to OneDrive and sync files between them. As doing this gives you an easy access and makes sure that you have a backup. But the problem is that syncing your files between Windows 11 and OneDrive will cause you performance issues. So if you are okay with not backing up more files into your OneDrive account, then you can try to pause OneDrive syncing to see if it helps you in the performance of Windows 11. So to do that, find OneDrive from the taskbar and here click on help and settings. Then here go to pause syncing and restart your PC and now see if Windows 11 runs smoothly or not. Alright, the last way is to scan and remove viruses and malware. 
So one of the possible reasons for slowing down of your Windows 11 could be viruses and malware. And once your PC is infected by them, the system performance may slow down or some unusual activities will appear. For example, unexpected pop-up messages, automatic running programs, etc. So choose any antivirus program and run it on your PC to scan for the system and remove viruses and malicious programs. So again, go to the search bar and here type Windows Security and just open it. Here, tap on virus and threat protection and just click on quick scan. And then it will scan your PC to find if there's any current threats or not. And if there's not any current threats, then you're fine, my friend. And if there's any of the current threats, then it's time to wake up and clean up all of your mess <laughs> in your PC. And one bonus tip as well, in addition to quick scan, you can also perform a full scan, custom scan and an offline scan, which might take up a little bit of time. But having said that, these were the best ways and methods by which you can fix all of your performance issues that you're facing in the Windows 11. And if I've missed any of the methods that you think you are doing currently and your PC or laptop with Windows 11 is running smoothly, then do let me know in the comment section. I'll really appreciate that. And if you've reached there, then definitely you are a stalwart and that is why you deserve a salute from my side. Having said that, please subscribe to our channel Geekified and with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, keep enjoying your life. Let me also enjoy my life and let my cinematographer also enjoy his or her life. Thank you. Don't know what you're talking about.